In this video, I will run a demo for the purchasing rebates process on SAP S4HANA 2020, which will follow exactly the same process I explained in the last video that you have to check here before you continue watching the demo. We start by creating the rebate agreement. Go to Logistics, Settlement Management, Condition Contract Management, Master Data, Edit Display, Create, Choose Contract Type OPI1. Here we mentioned the validity date, so our contract is valid from 01-04-2021 until 31-05-2021 from April to May. And the supplier that we use today is AG02. So this is the supplier that will give us the discount. We are going to deduct the discount from its balance when we receive it. And here we maintain the conditions. So let me close this. And here to maintain the conditions, we click here and choose a condition type. So we are going to use two conditions today. The first one is the rebate discount condition and the second is the rebate accruals. So we start by the rebate discount. Calculation type is percentage. And we would like to create a scale because if we get if we do a total value of purchasing of 5,000, we get a discount of 5%. If we do 10,000, we get 10%. And this is a scale. So we choose the line and then we click here. And then choose again and click again to create a second level. So we have two levels now. The first level is 5%. The second is 10%. And then go to the end and here we maintain the target so five percent if we pay five thousand or if we buy for five thousand and ten percent if we buy for ten thousand and the unit is eur so this is the currency of our agreement now to create the accrual condition we click here again and we choose the accrual condition type rea1 and calculation type is also percentage. The rate is 3% as per our example. And this is it for the conditions. Now let's open again the document header and go to purchasing. And here we maintain our purchasing organization, AG00. And the group is AG01. And our company code. So the group is 001 and our company code AG01 and then go to business volume criteria and here we create the different conditions for the purchasing that will be included in our agreement so if we buy these materials from these suppliers the purchasing value will be included in our contract and to add a condition or to add a selection criteria we click here so the first criteria we have is supplier and then we click again and the second criteria is material. So we can have multiple materials and we can have multiple suppliers. So the supplier I will use is again AG02. And we can have multiple suppliers. So for example, if there is a home office or a head office for the supplier and different branches, and we would like to include all the branches in our agreement, we can add different lines and add all the suppliers here. And the same for materials. If we would like to have different materials included in our agreement, we can click again and create different selection criteria. The material I will use today is RM02. So now if we buy RM02 from this supplier, the purchasing value will be included in our condition contract. Then go to settlement calendar. And here we maintain the dates in which we are going to run the accrual and we are going to settle the contract. So click here to add a line and the date. So the first date will be the end of April. This is 30-04-2021. And this will be an accrual run. So Delta accruals. This means we are going to post accruals at this date, okay? And the second date will be the end of the contract. So this will be 31-05-2021. And this is a final settlement. So this is when we are going to close the contract and post any 
discount if there is any to the supplier account and then we release the contract and save and this is our condition contract number okay now let's do some purchasing and run the settlement at the end of April and at the end of May I have already done the purchasing process in many videos in the procure to pay playlist I will leave you a link here if you would like to check so today I will run the process but I will run it very quickly if you have any questions you can check the playlist so we start by creating the purchase order ME21N the supplier is AG02 purchasing organization AG00 group 001 company code AG01 item overview the material we are buying is RM02 and we are going to buy so for the month of April we would like to get 3000 USD or 3000 EUR of purchasing so let's say I will buy 300 for the price of 10 each so this is 3000 and then the plant is AG01 delivery date okay and then we post here is our purchase order number copy now we post a goods receipt okay 171b let's display the financial entry for the goods receipt here display material document document info fi documents accounting document now as you see this is a very normal financial entry for goods receipt it has nothing to do with rebates we have the grir account the raw material account the inventory and the difference the price difference account now let's post the invoice transaction miro and we want this invoice to be in april so let's say 12 04 2021 and the posting date will be the same 12 04 2021 and the tax code is zero okay and there is our po number so the total value is 3000 EUR amount 3000 and post now let's look into the financial entry display follow on documents accounting and again this is a completely normal financial entry for invoicing it has nothing to do with rebates so we have the GRIR account and the domestic supplier so this is the accounts payable and we have price uh, exchange rate differences so also not related to rebates now let's run the settlement for the month of April and see how we can post the accrual to do this we go back to settlement management so go back to the menu again we are in settlement management this time instead of going into master data we go to settlement supplier create and here we insert the date of settlement and based on this date SAP will check will choose what kind of run we are doing because we maintain these dates in the master data of the condition contract so if we insert 30, 2021 end of April SAP will check the condition contract master data and will find that this date is linked to an accrual, uh, accrual settlement so it will post an accrual and here you can also choose the run type so if we choose check run it means this is only a test run SAP will show us the result without actually posting anything which is useful to check that there are no errors and everything is okay and then the list range we can choose what kind of information we want SAP to display after we run the transaction and I would like to choose two list output header and item data so this gives us more details when we run the transaction and then execute and here also we have our condition contract number so this transaction we can run for multiple contracts or we can run for a single contract as I'm going to do now so I inserted only my contract and execute one contract settlement settled without errors so we don't have any errors okay and here we can see the value so the purchasing rebate delta accrual 
this is the kind of settlement we are going to post now for this contract for the material RM02 with the invoicing party AG02 this is the supplier number the quantity is 300 pieces the supplier rebate base is 3000 EUR so this is 300 units multiplied by 10 3000 and based on this we have an accrual of 90 because we multiply 3000 by 3% 3 accrual percentage so we get 90 EUR exactly the same as what I explained in the business process video now let's go back and convert this into an actual run so live run and execute again so now SAP is going to post the financial entry. To display the entry, you can click here, Settlement Document. And before you display the entry, you can check the calculation of the value by choosing the line and clicking here on Supplier Conditions. So this shows how SAP calculated the accrual. So the rebate business volume is 3000 EUR. So this is the total amount of purchasing included in our contract that we achieved. And then we have the rebate accrual percentage is 3%. So we have 90 EUR net value that will be posted as an accrual. Now let's check the accounting document. So go back to the document here and click on accounting. Accounting document. The financial entry is debit to the accrued supplier rebate, the rebate accrual and credit to the rebate gain account gain supplier rebate for 90 EUR now let's post another purchasing in the month of May and run the final settlement so again I will go back to MA21N and create another PO quickly so the supplier is AG02 organization group Material, quantity, so for the month of May, we would like to have a total value of 7,000. We already have 3,000, so I'm going to add another 4,000. So we are going to buy 400 pieces, 14 EUR each. And the plant is AG01, post. Copy the PO number and post a goods receipt with transaction MIGO goods receipt PO number OK storage location post let's post the invoice slash NMIRO invoice date is so this one will be in May. So let's say the date will be 23rd of May, 2021. And tax code again will be zero. PO number, total value is 4,000 EUR. And post. Now let's run the final settlement for the condition contract. So go back to the SAP menu. And again, we run the same transaction we use for the actual settlement. So create this one and we And again, we use the same transaction we used for the accrual settlement. But this time, the date will be 31st of May 2021. And based on the date, SAP will run a final settlement. We are going to run a check run first and again choose two for the rest range. And we have our condition contract number here and execute. One contract settled without errors. Good. And here is the result. So the total quantity we have is 700 pieces, 300 we did in April and 400 we did in May. So the total is 700. The supplier rebate base is 7,000 and we get a discount of 350 EUR. Now let's go back and run a live run. Execute again. And check the financial entry. So click on settlement document. Again, you can check the calculation by going here. So select the line and go to supplier conditions. The rebate business volume is 7,000 EUR and we have the rebate percentage is 5%. 
So the rebate total amount is 350 EUR. And then we also have the rebate accrual reversal of 90 EUR. So this is the accrual that we posted in April. Now go back and click on accounting, accounting document. And there is our financial entry. And as I explained in the business process video, we have two parts here. The first part is the reversal of the accrual we posted until now. And the second part is the total value of the rebate discount. So the first part is line number three and line number four. Here we have the reversal. So we have a debit to the supplier rebate gain. And we have a credit to the accrued supplier rebate for 90 EUR, the value we posted in April. And then the second part is line number one and line number two. So we have a credit to the supplier rebate gain for 350 EUR. So this is the total value of gain or the total value of discount we received. And we have a debit to the supplier account, the accounts payable for 350 EUR. I hope you found this demo useful and easy to understand. If you are interested in more processes related to purchasing, you can click on this playlist. And if you would like to learn SAP Fury and you are a channel member, you can click on this link to watch the purchasing rebates demo on SAP Fury. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.